Today is, you could say, the rollout ceremony for the Marine Corps taking possession of the first L-RIP, or you could say factory-built model of the Gator system. What it does is it replaces a lot of legacy capability gaps and uh, problems with our older radar. So not only is it easier to set up, in place, displace, and move, but mobility-wise, it's what the Marines are focusing on when they are employing this system. It's much more mission-oriented compared to my legacy systems. Us receiving our first TPS-80, you know, this is bringing the rest of the MAGTAF into the fifth generation of warfighting. What it really provides us is a modern sensor that has great agility that we can employ from the high-end fight down to the Marine Expeditionary Unit level. The Marine Corps, the actual requirements for this type of radar were developed back in the year 2000. And then we went out to industry and said, hey, who can build something like this for the Marine Corps? We said, hey, we need a radar that does this. And Northrop said, we think we can, we can fit that need for you. We are grateful to Northrop Grumman and their team for what they've done and PEO Land Systems and their team in terms of you know, fielding this capability. This system puts the Marine Corps for the first time above our sister services in technology.